Hello everyone, this is Jim Nix from nomadicpursuits.com and in this video we're going to talk about how you can quickly get through a whole lot of images in a short amount of time. In other words, we're going to cover batch processing. So if you open Aurora HDR 2018, you come to this menu and you have batch processing as an option here. And I'm going to go ahead and click that. You can see that you can drag images or folders right there or you can just browse them on your desktop. I've got this folder with a number of images in it and I'll highlight them all and click open. And there you go. You'll see it'll automatically group them according to name. And you can see that there's three different sets of three exposure brackets. Now you can include subfolders if you'd like to, and you can export as brackets or single images. I'm going to export as a bracket. So you just click continue. Now this is the menu where you can do some customization to your output. The first thing you can do is choose a preset. You can say none if you don't want any presets applied. Perhaps you just want a base tone mapped image and you want to get all of those done so that you can go edit each of those individually. However, you could also use custom user presets if you had some of those created. Perhaps you're an architectural or real estate photographer and you want to use a mild enhancer preset. You can come in here and make those choices. So I'm going to go into the realistic HDR category and I'm going to get vivid memories just because it's colorful. All right, you, you choose the location where you want to save it to. I'm going to save it, let's say, to my desktop and to my batch processing folder. And then here's your, where your naming comes in. You can choose prefixes, base, suffixes, and letters, and then make various choices within each of those to name your photos. You can also choose an output format. I'll go ahead and stick with JPEG. And as you can see, there's a quality slider. I'll go ahead and leave it at 100. And of course, you can choose your color profile. sRGB is generally the best profile for online display. Lastly, you can go into a resize menu if you'd like to. I'm going to leave it with the original dimensions. Now note that there's an advanced tab here. So if you click that, you come over here and you've got a couple of more options. You can choose sharpen, low, medium, high, or none, and also the option for color denoise. I'm going to leave that off of these photos. Now a couple of these were shot handheld, so I want to make sure alignment is checked. I'm going to go ahead and use ghost reduction as well because there may have been some moving objects. The nice thing about ghosting is you can choose which exposure value and what intensity or amount of ghost reduction you want applied. And then of course you can choose chromatic aberration removal as well. And then once you're ready, you just click continue. And I've already I've been alerted that I've already got a file name that exists. So I'll say I'll keep both. And then I'm going to go ahead and let this process. This will take just a moment and we'll be right back. Okay, now the photos have completed uh, the merging with the application of the chosen preset to each image. And it says here, batch completed successfully. Now you can either go back to Aurora or you can say show in Finder. So now I can come in here and I can choose the photos. I'm going to go ahead and highlight the three HDR photos and I'll bring them up and show them to you. There's two and there's three. Now I'm going to open these three and here you go. There's the first photo. You can see the ghosting did a great job of keeping the grass and the horses still. Even captured that bird in flight and did a great job. Now on the second photo, there's the HDR photo. Again, all of these have the realistic um, preset category with vivid memories as the preset applied. So they're kind of bright and colorful. And then here's the third image as well, uh, a, a lake scene. So now you could take these photos uh, back into Aurora and make further edits or take them into Luminar, for example, to make further enhancements. The point is that you can quickly get through your vacation photos, apply presets even if you like to, and then get a lot of the work done using the batch processing tool in Aurora HDR 2018. And that's how it works. I hope that it helps. And if you have any questions, let us know. Thanks again for watching. We'll see you next time.